Hey there everyone, hope you're doing great today. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to factory reset, also known as a hard reset, on your iPhone 10s Max. All right, so I'm gonna be showing you how to factory reset your Apple iPhone 10s Max. Uh, and this is helpful in the event that maybe your iPhone is not working properly, maybe it's freezing, maybe it has a virus, uh, maybe it has a password and you forgot your password, or maybe you've just entered your password in wrong too many times and it got disabled, like this. Uh, it might say one minute or it might just uh, say iPhone is disabled and not even give you a time frame. So if your iPhone is uh, disabled or for any reason you wanna do a complete reset on it, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that now, it's really simple. So all you have to do is, you're gonna to have to download iTunes, uh, either on your computer, PC, Windows, or Mac, and update it to the latest version. Next thing you're gonna need is a Lightning USB cable, the one that came with your phone. So I suggest you use a OEM Lightning cable, not an aftermarket one, because it, sometimes it doesn't work if you try and use an aftermarket one. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna connect the cable to the iPhone and also to the computer, uh, Windows or Mac. All right, so once you have it plugged into your iPhone and to your computer, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the volume down and the power button um, until the power off menu appears. There you go, once the power off menu appears, we're gonna slide to power off, but as soon as you slide to power off, press and hold both volume down and the power button all right so let's do that now slide the power off and press and hold both volume down and the power button keep on holding them for a couple of seconds you're going to see the apple logo just continue to hold both And there you go, it's gonna bring you to this screen right here, which is the restore screen. So once you see this, you can go ahead and just place your iPhone down. We're gonna follow the prompts now on the computer on iTunes. So it's gonna say there's a problem with your iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. So we're just gonna hit restore because uh, mine is already on the latest version. So restore and update, next. It's gonna make uh, you follow through the prompts here. Uh, and it's probably gonna make you download the software uh, which it's gonna restore to or update to. So that's gonna take a few minutes. Just wait till that is done. Once the software is completely done downloading, then it will go ahead and uh, continue through with the reset. If it takes very long for it to download the software, you might have to do the process again with the buttons on the iPhone. Uh, in order to provoke the restore. But for now, we just gotta wait till uh, the software is completely downloaded. Okay, so as you can see, the software there uh, just finished downloading completely. So as soon as it completes the download, it will automatically go to the next step. Uh, within the reset, which is now extracting the old software from the iPhone, and then it's gonna install the new software. Uh, and that will completely reset the phone back to its factory condition. So now all we have to do is wait uh, till it just finishes the entire process. It may take a few minutes, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, so let's go ahead and wait till, till it's done. So also, uh, same as you see the bar up there loading on the uh, iTunes, you're also gonna see a bar loading on the iPhone as well as you can see here. So we just gotta wait until all the bars finish loading all the way to the end, and then the process will be complete.
All right, and there we go. So it is at the initial setup here of the phone. The reset process just completed. Uh, and as you can see here, it's at the initial setup here where you choose your language, country, uh, so forth. You gotta keep going here and get your phone set up. So as you can see, it was completely reset back to its factory condition uh, so that now you can start using your phone normally again. So I hope that video was helpful for everyone. Go ahead and please give it a like. It really helps the video out a lot. And I'll see you guys around in the next one. And as always, peace.